My name is Brian Robinson and I'm a wildlife graduate student at the University of Alaska in Fairbanks. For my master's thesis, I'm studying black oyster catchers in Kenai Fjords National Park. This project is a collaboration between University of Alaska Fairbanks and biologists at the Park Service in order to fill in data gaps in our understanding of black oyster catcher ecology. My research is centered on understanding the underlying factors that influence productivity of black oyster catchers. Productivity is the number of eggs and the number of chicks that are produced each year, and it's a measure of the bird's reproductive success. Past research has focused a lot on the nesting period. We're interested in seeing how the diet influences growth, survival, and fledging success of chicks here in the park. We're interested in determining the important prey items that oyster catchers feed on. These include mussels, limpets, chitons, and other intertidal invertebrates. One, one neat thing about this project is to be able to observe the entire reproductive cycle of the oyster catchers, from observing the courtship behavior of the adults to them making a nest scrape. They make a shallow scrape in the gravel where they'll lay one to three eggs. Then the adults, both pairs, will faithfully incubate the nest for 28 days. Before the eggs hatch, you can actually hear the chicks calling from within the eggs. And you can see a tiny little hole to see that entire cycle from egg to chick to fledgling um, is pretty fascinating. In the beginning of the breeding season, we do a systematic survey along the coastline to identify black oyster catcher pairs. If we see a pair of oyster catchers, we'll search the beaches looking for a nest. Then we'll float the eggs to determine the incubation stage. More developed eggs will float to the top of the, of the water. Then we'll set up a remote sensor camera at the nest to identify any nest predators. Without the camera, we won't be able to accurately identify what type of predator is taking the eggs. After the eggs hatch, we, we weigh the chicks and measure them to determine the growth rates. After the eggs hatch, the chicks generally stay right around the nest, but as they, as they grow, they'll move further away into their foraging grounds and follow the parent as the parent feeds them. Trying to capture the chicks at this stage is pretty difficult because they're perfectly camouflaged to blend right in with the rocks. Finding the chicks requires a lot of effort. You have to look under each little rock around each corner and they stay perfectly still. Because oyster catchers nest on beaches that are popular with kayakers, boaters, and campers, it's important to understand that oyster catchers can be impacted by these activities. I'd say I was particularly drawn to this project because it's not only research being done for research's sake, but it's being done for the conservation of black oyster catchers.